Peace, y'all. My name is Kim Joyce. I want to, you know, give y'all some valuable information that might save you guys $500 a day or two years of your life. And this is for all business owners. This is something starting January 1st, 2024. So check it out. I'm going to hit y'all with the who, what, why, where, when. I know that works. Okay, so first and foremost, let's talk about the who. Who's doing it and who it affects. I know y'all know uh, what Luther said and set it off. Pe- people you don't mess with, the Aya, the Aura, and the S. Now, this company that I'm about to talk about is called FinCEN. Okay, they're a sister company of the IRS, so you don't want to mess with them anyways. FinCEN stands for Financial Crime, um, what is it, Enforcement Network. So they're stopping like illegal activity, like illegal financial crimes that's happening. So that's number one. That's who who's who's on one end. You got like a plaintiff and a defendant. You got on one end a fencing, and on the other end it's business owners. X out sole proprietorship. If you're a sole proprietor, you ain't even got to worry about this. It's good to know in case you do want to upgrade your business to one of the other structures. But if you got an LLC, like LP, LLP, like those type of things with partnership, S Corp, C Corp, then it's going to affect you. Okay. And this is starting January 1st, 2024. So listen up. If you already got a business um, prior to 2024, they're going to give you all year 365 days for you to fill out this one form called the boi it's the beneficial ownership information report okay and it's really i think it's probably going to be about i think three portions it's a short form you got to fill out information about your business like the name any trade names the address the jurisdiction stuff like that you also have to fill out a, a portion um the uh the ownership portion where you put anybody that owns at least 25 percent so whoever the on, the owner their contact information their name like stuff like that and then if you fu- if you just open up your business starting january 1st 2024 there's another portion um and i forget what that portion is called it's like the uh not the reporting company 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 applicant so they just want to know like who's the filer who's filing this information now if you already got the business like me i've had my business for a while i don't have to worry about that third part that company application but i do most definitely have to make sure that i'm doing the the first two parts like my business info my name all that good stuff i gotta let them know um and i have all year to get that information down in fencing's um like database if you open the business January 1st, guess what? You only got you don't have all year to fill out that one little form. You only have 90 days. Like after they say, hey, congratulations, XYZ company is now in effect. Now you got 30 days to fill out this form. OK, if you don't have a business now and if you don't open up a business yet next year and then you wait to 2025, as soon as you open up that business and get the congratulations, you only got 30 days to fill out this form. Now, what's the consequences? If you don't fill it out, you for each business that you do not do this for, you can be fined five hundred dollars a day. If you're up to ten thousand dollars per business, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Um, as well, if you don't want to like pay that money, you ain't got the money, you, you can lose two years of your life in jail. So it's absolutely insane. Let me tell you exactly why it's insane, because it's such an easy thing to do. But if any information changes on this form, if you, if there's a new owner that owns more or if you move or your company address moves, then you need to 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 update this form within 30 days or else again, five hundred dollars a day. Like this is for life. You know, this is a lot of money. And it's three reasons that they said that they wanted to do this. One, illegal businesses. They want to stop illegal uh, fraud, scams, sex trafficking, drug trafficking. All these businesses just got an EIN and they don't know who's owning them. So they want to kind of tighten down on on that information. Like make sure that they got somebody's info. Um, but again, like I said, that's really going to mess you up because, again, if you... Man, if you move, you kind of SOL, right? But they want to tighten down on illegal crime. Um, they also 
probably want to um, tighten down on owning businesses in different states, like a lot California. A lot of people could live in California, but say, hey, I got the business going in uh, in Utah, you know, or somewhere that might be a little bit cheaper, so they don't have to pay like really high um, fees, taxes, or whatnot. So, me honestly, I also think this got something to do with the PPP thing. Like, I haven't seen that. I've done some research online, but all the people that take out PPP loans, I feel like now they can start trying to connect some dots. They ain't saying that, but that's just kind of a feeling I got. But nonetheless, I'm hoping I'm giving you guys all the information that you need. You cannot do this form now. You have to wait for Jan- to, until January 1st, 2024. I'm going to wake up at 8 a.m. and do that, okay? I'm going to wake up at 8 no, I'm going to be up before then. I'm going to be at my computer with coffee ready to put my information in there because, you know, the world is set up for people to take money from you regardless of what excuses, regardless if you don't know. Like, I ain't heard this information and this is less than a month away. Regardless of people not knowing this, it is designed to take your money, to find you, to catch you slipping, not on your toes, not on your P's and Q's. So hopefully um, this is going to protect somebody from, um, you know, getting fined $500 a day or going to jail. You know, knowledge is power. Each one teach one. If you guys want to find out more information about this, I suggest you go right now. And I'm going to put the link below, but it's finsin.gov backslash B-O-I. Y'all check it out. Um it's December. Now's a good time to start reading some tax books and just get on top of, um, you know, whatever you can that'll help you in 2024. But definitely spread the word, share the video, tell a friend, uh, tell a loved one, shoot, tell the community. You know what I mean? So ain't none of us slipping. We just all going to be ahead of the game together. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all take it easy. Mm.